What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is Jason. And in this video, we're going to be going over how we can use PH Picker to upload a video to our storage. In our case, we're going to be using the Firebase storage. So let's get into it. Uh, first, you want to hit Create Project. We'll call this PH Picker Video Upload. Long name. <laughs> we'll use uh, Swift and Storyboards. Sorry, Swift UI people, but this should work at the same as Swift UI. So I'm just going to create this here. And what do we want to do? So we actually need to set up our Firebase stuff. So I'm going to open Google Chrome. And this is a cool, uh, cool little picture. What is this? Bangladesh. All right, we're not here for that. Firebase. We need to go to our console. All right, we need to add project. Uh, what are we gonna call this? PH Picker. Oh no. Let the project get set up. All right, so let's get set up with this. So you're gonna hit iOS. And we're gonna hit sign in and capabilities, PH Picker, upload. Put this here, register app. All right, so we download the P list and then we're gonna wanna drag it in here make sure you have copy items if needed selected and then you hit finish it'll bring it up in here and if you have any like uh, any of these numbers here at the end you need to get rid of them otherwise you have an error when you try to run the app then we hit next we're going to copy this go to file go to packages or add packages right here you can paste this in here hit add package this will take a little second all right, once it's finished, you should get this screen and you can add all the other packages you need. For our project, we only need Firebase storage, so we're going to hit add package here. That, so that's being added. We can go back here, we hit next, and then we're using Swift. If you're using Swift UI or Objective-C, you guys can get the corresponding one. We're going to import Firebase core and we're going to import Firebase configure. Oh, give Xcode a second, you know, don't, don't rush it. <laughs> all right, we're going to place this in here, command B. This might take a second too, because we just brought in all those packages. So let's see if this error will go away. All right, I built succeeded. So now we go to our view controller and this is where we're gonna set up our UI for the for the pH picker. So let's say, uh, what we'll, we'll, we'll call this? Um, we'll call this video. Or we'll call this upload image view. And this will be a UI image view. And all right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna use an anonymous closure and let image view equal UI image view. And then we're going to return image view. I want to make sure you do translate auto resizing mask to false. Oh, can't forget the view. All right, false. What else do we want to do? We will set the content mode to scale to aspect fill. We can actually set the image here. We're going to use a system image, UI image, system name. And if you go here to this plus, It'll pop this up and we can look up, I uh, believe it's, is it image? No, it's, uh, is it picture? Oh, let's look up photo. Yeah, this one, photo art frame. And we can set the view background color equal to the background. Oh, I forgot color. We'll create a function here, call it configure UI, private func configure UI. And we're still missing one more thing for the image view, but let's lay it out for view dot add sub view. What is this upload image view? And we need to lay out our constraints. Activate. This is an upload. Load image view. We'll do the top anchor constraint equal to view dot top anchor. We'll do like a hundred. And upload image view dot leading anchor constraint. Actually, I won't even let's not use the leading anchor. Let's uh center it along the x-axis of the view. And we'll just create a uh, width and height. So we'll use width anchor, constraint, constraint equal to let's put like 300 and then upload width or upload height constraint. Let's do like 250. It should be good. And before we run this, I want to actually add a gesture recognizer. UI tap gesture recognizer self. And then you do selector, did tab. Upload image and then we need to add the gesture to the image view. This gesture will go here. We need to make the image view user interactable as well. And we need to change this to a lazy bar so we have access to the self. And it has no member. Con 
we just need to create on our, our objective C function. Objective C function did tap. And then we right for now we'll just print uh image. Now let's run this. Oh, right now I'm running on a local device. So let's run this on the simulator. So Pro Max. Let's hit build. This will probably take a second, so I'm just gonna fast forward till it loads. Alright, so our app loaded, and if we tap this, let's tap let's open up our terminal. If we tap this, we'll see image pop up. Let me clear it again just to make sure it's working. Yep. And let's change the image view tint color. <laughs> Let's do system graces. Okay. All right. Now we're ready to set up our pH picker section. So we need to actually import photos UI and pH picker is a new way to like access a lot. We're not super new, but it's, it's fairly new before we were using uh, was a UI picker something. The cool thing about pH picker is you don't have to do anything with the P list. So you don't even have to worry about that. This has to be a var. We're going to create a configuration for the, for the pH picker, by the way, and this is just so we only show videos in this filters uh, property. You could actually filter what type of um, what type of content, videos, images will be shown in the from the user's library when they tap on the the upload image and when the pH picker view controller is shown. We're only worried about videos, so we're only gonna we're gonna do that, and we'll call this uh, photo picker. And now we're going to instantiate our pH picker view controller with configuration, configuration. And we want to set the delegate equal to self. This is how we'll get access to whatever the user selects. And then we'll just present photo picker and animated true. Okay. We're going to build this. We should get an error because we don't conform. So extension view controller, pH picker view controller delegates command B. And then you're going to just bring in this stub. If, so when the user finishes with their selection, we're going to want to call picker dismiss. We'll set this equal to true. And then we're going to want to guard let the results. And we'll call this provider. The results dot first dot item provider. Else we want to return. And now we're going to use our provider. Oh, actually we can do guard let. The provider, we can access the video. But first we need to call has item conformant to type identifier and our type identifier is going to be you. You're going to call UTT type dot movie dot identifier provider dot. So if it has it, we're going to want to load it. And since this is a video, we're going to want to load file representation for type identifier. We're going to use this one and then we'll pass in the type identifier again. And you want to hit enter on the completion. You want to get a, we're going to get a file URL and we're going to get an error. So we can guard let, I think the both, both are optional. So we're going to guard let file URL equal file URL. And we're going to guard let the error equals equals nil. Else we're going to return. Oh, we can return here. So thanks to this guard let, now we have a URL to the file and we can actually start the upload. But first we need to create a function here. So let's. I'm going to do this in our view controller, which you wouldn't want to do it like in a real project. It's going to, it's going to blow up the size of your view controller. So we're go, but we're going to do it here just to save time. We're going to call Firebase storage and we're going to create a function. We're going to call this upload video to storage and video URL. This will be a URL. And why is this? Oh, hmm. looks like we're missing a, there we go. So from this video URL, we're going to try to grab the video data. So guard let video data equal try data. We're going to do try data and then it should be contents of video URL else return. And let's, let's create a print here just so we know for our debugging, we're going to call print unable to return. Unable to, we'll call this unable to create video data. Oh, and one thing we forgot is this is actually going to be an asynchronous call. So we need to make this function. We need to make a completion. We'll call add escaping and we'll just use bool for now. We'll just return bool, which will be true if it succeeds, false if it doesn't. You could use the result type, but we're just going to use this. And you could also probably use uh, async and await. I think uh, Firebase has just got that set up now, but we're going to go with this method. I want to grab the file name and we can just grab this from the URL using the last compo uh, path component. 
So now we need to create a reference to our storage. And I realize up here, we're going to do this in our view controller, but <laughs> assuming you created like a separate class that would serve as like your storage data uh, service or manager, you'd create a reference to the storage. And for Firebase, it's your storage, storage dot reference. So we could call that in here. We'll call it storage dot. You just want to call it child. And this will be the name of the folder or the path that you want the video uploaded to. So we'll do videos and, and we're going to use string interpolation to pass it into a path videos slash file name. So this will be stored in a video folder, a videos folder, and it'll have a file name, a file name. <laughs> so once you have this, you can call video reference dot put data and you want to do upload data and then with completion. So for the data, we're going to do video data completion metadata to completion you do enter and then you just do made metadata you get an error here so we're going to garlet metadata equal metadata and then we're going to garlet error equals equals error or we're going to garlet error equals equals nil else if any of these we're going to want to return and print error uploading to firebase or yeah firebase storage okay and if we make it here, command B, oh, <laughs> typo. All right, command B, and then we can, if we make it here, we'll do success. All right, so let's try to run this. But before, all right, one more thing. All right, one more thing before we actually upload this is I want to, I'm going to add a video to my simulator just so I could show it, guys, show it to you guys here. But you can actually run this on your device and it should, you can upload any video you have there. So I'm going to drag this in here and it'll show the video. This is a video of Rocky my dog and then all right so now it's here okay so now i have a video in my simulator and now i'm gonna hit run actually one thing before you even try this uh, i forgot in firebase you have to go to once you have it set up you go to storage get started you hit next you can start in production it doesn't matter and then we'll do name you just pick a location near you you can't change this you hit done wait for this to get created and then we have to change one more thing all right so we're gonna go to rules just set this equal to true and then hit publish and now you can upload it all you want so we're going to go back to our project all right so it's running probably gonna have to change the color <laughs> so one thing i realized is i was trying to run this and we never called the function to upload it to the fire or to the storage so of course it was never going to load or do anything so we're going to call upload video storage we just pass in the file url you hit uh enter on the completion so if success else so on success, we could just print yay. On a fail, you can print no. And we need to account for the completion handler in here. Sorry about that. I was so focused on getting to the, the end that I forgot to set everything up. And now we need to call self here, but we need to call weak self. So we can use self and this will be an optional self. Just to avoid any retainment cycles. And now we can run this and this should have some, f this should work. <laughs> barring any any random issues so the app is going to load up and we can change this to just system gray i'm not going to rerun it again but just it's very light so we're going to hit enter here hit enter here and then i'm going to press on the the video of rocky well, let's show our terminal in case we get any errors so we're in our terminal and we got, it took a second but you see here success misspelled <laughs> i guess i forgot an s and so it looks like it got uploaded and if we go to our firebase Let's refresh here. We see videos. We see Rocky video. Let's click on it, see if it's actually the right video. And it is. Yep. It's Rocky living life. <laughs> living life, living large. All right. So this is working, and our project's pretty much done for. Um, I'm pretty much set here. The only thing I want to. The only thing I would want to add is. So if you want to. Um, if you want to pass in the download URL, you can actually do that here. And the way we'll do it, let's see, how do we want to do this? So to grab the download URL, we'll change this completion to a string optional. And we'll change this to nil, nil, nil. Well, actually, this would be the string. All right, so in here, once we have a success, we can call the video reference again. And we're we can be like, hey, what's the download URL? And this will be the download URL of the video because I know in the future you might need access to the download URL, right? You just don't want to upload in the storage and forget about it. Or maybe you do. 
But in case you need access to the URL, that's just, this is what you need to call. All right, and we get rid of that print statement since the completion handle handler will handle that. So if so, we get this, and we want to guard let download URL equals download URL and error equals equals nil. <coughs> Else we'll return and we'll call our completion and pass in nil. Okay, and then we'll have to move this. We can just delete this for now. So if this is true, we actually have access to our comp our download URL. And we can just call our completion handler off the top and just hit download URL and then absolute string, command B. Okay, all right. And this is ready to run. Now we need to change our implementation though. So this is gonna be a download URL string. And we'll do, we'll use a guard let in here, guard let. Else we're going to return and we'll say that we failed. So print, this is the failure case if we get here. So we'll say no. Else we're gonna print the download URL string and we can print yay <laughs> and let's run this and bam. And again to remind you guys, this code would probably be in a separate place, like a, not in the view controller. This would be like where you conform to delegate and stuff, but where you're making this network request, it'd probably be removing to like a different service or class. So we're gonna try this again. So let's hit this, click on this, give it a second to upload. It's a 10 second video, so it shouldn't take that long. All right, oh, and it looks like it uploaded. And we have this link here, so we can, we're not even gonna check Firebase, we're gonna check on this link. So if we go back to this link, we command, oh wow. <laughs> and it gives you direct, it gives you the download URL directly. So if I, you saw here, I just paste it here. And if I hit enter, it downloads it. And now I have another copy. So if I go to Firebase, go to console, we should have two of the videos, same. Two of the same videos, they'll probably have different names. Google probably handles that for us. Oh, oh no, it looks like it overrides it. So that's some something to think about or to note, like if you upload the video with the same name, it's gonna overwrite it, which makes sense. And that's just something to think about for your for whatever use case you're using this for. And yeah, that's all I wanted to go through today. Uh, we built out this really cool app. <laughs> well, I mean, the app itself is not cool, but you can upload a whole video using the PH Picker View Controller to Firebase Storage. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out the channel. If you're an aspiring iOS developer, learn on your own. Learn as much as you can, working on different projects. Keep coding, keep learning, and stay tuned. I have some stuff coming out for you guys. Maybe be helpful. So I'll see y'all next time. Peace. I'm riding between it all in this perfect place. Peace to the bus when my fit where you need